Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So, the very, very, very vast majority of you seem to love the previous episode, so I figured I'd give you a, another video today. I've taken a little look at the comments, and I've decided what we're going to do. You'll probably be able to tell from the title. I've seen some comments kind of criticising the game that it's not historically accurate, but it's... It doesn't. It's, that's not really the point of the game. From the fact that you could do chickens versus World War Two soldiers, it's meant to be a bit of a sandbox, a bit of a simulator, just a bit of a fun, light-hearted title. So I wouldn't look too much into it as to whether the Spartans or the Romans who would have won in real life. Uh, the Spartans are a very powerful unit in the game, so you know, just take it with a grain of salt. I find this game incredibly fun, hopefully you guys and gals do too, but enough of that, I will just set this all up and then we'll enter into the battle. Okay, so here we have the scenario. We have 5,000 chickens going up against 5,000 penguins. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that just increases it a huge amount. We also have 5,000 orcs going up against 5,000 footmen. All of their orders are to attack, so this should be an absolute, well, hopefully a hilarious, crazy battle, but you never know. We'll have to see. So, if you've got any suggestions for future battles, of course, let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator so far, of course, leave a like on the video. Check out the game developer's channel. He's a very nice chap. He is developing this game all on his Todd. So he's a one-man band, and personally, I think he's doing a sterling job. So we'll take a little look at the forces. Oh my giddy aunt. So, oh jeez. <laughs> so here we have the orcs looking very menacing. I'm sure you would agree. Let's turn on cinematic mode so we can kind of see what we're going up against here. And the frame rate's looking pretty decent at the moment. Here we have the 5,000 chickens. Hopefully they'll do well. On the other side of the battle map, we have 5,000 medieval soldiers. And then over here we have the legion, that is the 5,000 penguins. This is a battle to decide the fate of the world, the fate of the universe, the fate of who's having penguin for dinner or chicken. For that matter so without further ado let us press k and let us let this turn into an absolute <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, so i have recently got in from watching a soccer match i have had a few beers so i might be slightly tipsy when recording this but here we go the penguins going hand to hand with the medieval knights uh over here it appears they're going into the chickens with absolute abandon. Oh, and the orcs are going into the chickens. Farewell, chickens. You have performed admirably. You'll make quite the tasty feast. So the penguins have split off into two groups. Let us zoom out and kind of... Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to take from this battle, apart from the fact that it is... Well, massive medieval battle simulator I might take I might try and save a group of the chickens I think I might be able to do it oh god okay let's turn cinematic mode off okay come with me chickens we must <laughs> we must survive uh, so the chickens have only killed two enemies are we safe? Yes. Oh no, we're being chased. Oh dear. It appears. Oh. Let's let's lead them away. Let's let's lead the footmen into the orcs. That's the only way we're going to survive this thing, chickens. There we are. Aha! The intelligence of this chicken is too much. Oh bloody hell! Uh, so when they go red, that means they're targeting you. So it appears I'm effed. Uh, oh, bloody hell. There's only 21 chickens. No! 
Hello darkness, my old friend. The chickens are killing me. Well, no, sorry. The orcs are killing me. I am the chicken. There's only five chickens remaining. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just giving up. Okay, farewell, chicken. So it's now down to the footman and the orcs. So I believe all of the penguins, they, they didn't survive. And I'm not really sure that the... Uh, so they've got 500 HP compared to the footmen of 200. So it looks like the orcs might be more powerful than the footmen in this scenario. Damn. I was really hoping that the chickens or the penguins might have had a chance, but it appears that the orcs might conquer the world. And I think let's take a little look at the penguins. The thousands of penguins that have fallen this day. Okay. And is that the other group of penguins? That is indeed the other group of penguins. So let's take you, footmen. Let's get you. And let's head over here. So we've got a group of about a couple of hundred. So the footmen are slowly really dying. Looks like the orcs are quite a powerful unit. I didn't realise they were going to be that powerful. So it might have to be orcs versus Spartans next time. But of course I am very open to your suggestions. This was based on a user suggestion. Uh, I just kind of adapted it to include the footmen and the orcs. As I figured the penguins be chickens. Aha! Bring it on, sir! So what we needed was some medieval cav. Because it definitely looks like the footman might win it. I'm still going to try a couple of tactics to see if we can solve this problem, but... Let's bring him around. Maybe the high ground will give us a bit of a better opportunity. In we go. No. Well, let's put cinematic mode back on and see the orcs conquer. Actually, I could always take control of one of them. Oh my god. Aren't you an ugly fellow? So as the footmen start to fall, the orcs have become unstoppable. I think one day I might find a balanced battle on the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. But if you enjoyed the Battle Royale, of course, let me know. And we still have a group of footmen, quite a large group of footmen holding out. So I might actually turn cinematic mode back on, gain control... And let's go on the hunt, sir. See if we can save some of our comrades. So the chickens only killed two. The penguins at least killed 60. Okay, so we're going around the flank. One glorious final charge of man to oppose the orcish force. And we... That guy died, but push through on me. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough. The last stand of man. It's happening right here, right now. And there's nothing we can do about it. If I were you, sir, I would run. Unfortunately, it does not appear you have the same thinking as I do.
It's a shame that the penguins and the chickens didn't last a little longer. I think I kind of picked a bit of a strong unit here with the orcs. Kind of got swords like the uh, the Isengard soldiers from Lord of the Rings. Oh my gosh, the final stand of man. There we go, so Team Org is victorious. I was hoping that man might have won, or even the penguins, or the chickens for that matter. However, if we turn cinematic mode off, you can see, you know, two kills, 60 kills. It wasn't enough. So we go back to the menu, just very briefly. If you have any suggestions for me in the future, you can kind of see which units are available. So we have the chickens or the penguins. We have the orcs or the giant ogres. We have the medieval units, which is the heavy knight, the footman, archer, cavalry, and catapult. We also have the heroic golden knight or Chuck Norris. I'm sure you'll want to see Chuck Norris in the future. We also have the World War II unit of the US soldier. And we also have, looking down the list, I believe we have the evil unit of the zombie and i think that's it in this current build yeah so we got one two three four five six seven categories so i think i'm missing one ancient greece i believe so we've got the romans the spartans or the wildmen so let me know what you'd like to see in the next video in the comments below Leave a like if you haven't done already, if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.